Let's cover those different uh, types of forms. First of all, we have solid, as I saw before. These, of course, are marbles. They're uh, probably granite or glass, and these are solid. What is a solid? A solid is a form of matter with its own shape. So if a certain type of matter out there in the world has its own specific shape, it has a shape that is defined. It's a triangle. It's a sphere. It's a uh, circle or whatever. A sphere, by the way, that's the shape here that we see of these marbles. A sphere, this is a sphere. It's a round shape, but it has three dimensions. Just two dimensions would be a circle, would be a circle. But anyway, of course, solids have three dimensions. So we say it's a sphere. Solids can be triangular in shape. They can have a shape that we can't describe, right? Some shapes are very strange, but it has a certain type of shape, and that shape doesn't change. That is a solid, okay? Next, we have a liquid. A liquid, what, how is, what is a liquid? How is it different from a solid? A liquid is matter that flows. In other words, if you took this glass and you turned it, that liquid would flow out of the glass onto the table or the ground, and it would spread out. It would flow. It would move freely and takes the shape of its container. So this glass, which is a solid, right, is holding the liquid on the inside. So the liquid takes the shape of the solid glass shape on the inside, right? So that's an interesting feature about liquid. And also liquid will flow out. It, gravity will make it flow out from a high place to a low place. So liquid will always seek the lowest place. It will follow the pressure of gravity and seek the lowest place in something. And that is a liquid, okay? Okay, and then there's our third form of matter. We talked about solid, we talked about liquid. The third form of matter is a gas. What is a gas? A gas is a matter. A gas is matter that changes shape to fill its container. Hey, wait a minute. That's the same definition as liquid, right? But what is unique about gas? What makes gas different from liquid? Well, when we fill a container with liquid, the liquid is more affected by gravity. The liquid will fill up the bottom part of the container, but if there's not enough liquid, it won't fill up the top part. The top part of that container will be empty if there's not enough liquid to fill it. However, if you fill a container with gas, that gas will fill all of the container, not just the bottom, but the top and the sides too. The gas will spread out to all parts of the container, so the pressure inside this container is the same anywhere in this container. But with a liquid, right, if we have a glass, and we have some liquid here, the pressure here is greater than the pressure here. See, this is the container, right? This top part is not filled by the liquid, but in a container here, all of the container is filled by the gas. That's the main difference between a gas and a liquid. Okay, let's move on. Now, when we talk about other ways to describe these different uh, states, we have this word here, vapor. Vapor is an interesting word. It's an interesting state. I just used the example of water, right? Vapor is water in the air that you can sometimes see. Vapor is actually a gas. It's a gas that's very close between the stage of liquid and gas, right? It's not a liquid anymore. It is becoming a gas, okay? We can still see it. Right? But as you can see, gravity doesn't really affect it. Vapor, the water vapor is coming up out of the surface of the liquid of the water. Also, vapor is what we feel in the summertime. When we feel hot and sticky, it's because there's humidity in the air. And that humidity is water in the air. That's water vapor as well. Let's take a look at a video showing us a little bit more information about vapor. As we can see, it's very similar. We're boiling eggs. These are eggs in a pot. You can see the water. I'll show it to you before I play the video. You can see little bubbles of air, this is gas, forming in the water before the water actually starts to get really agitated. And that is forming the gas, the vapor that will come off. And we can see now, we can see the vapor that's coming off the surface of the water. And that's vapor. 
Okay, so it's interesting also to note that we've talked about the three uh, types of matter, solid, liquid, gas. How do they change, right? Like I can use the example of water. Why is water sometimes ice? Why is water sometimes liquid? And why is water sometimes heat? In this picture, you can see what's the change between water, liquid, and water as a vapor. It's heat, right? If we apply heat to a solid, it will turn into a liquid. If we give it more heat, it will turn into a gas. So heat, the temperature of something, will make it change the form that it is in, from a solid to a liquid to a gas, and also back the other way if you reduce or take away the temperature. Here we have freeze. Now I was talking about temperature, right? Freeze has to do with very cold temperatures, right? If you freeze something, you change it from a liquid to a solid. And here's our example of water again. If you take water, liquid water, and you take away heat, you lower the temperature, what happens? It freezes, becomes a solid, it is now ice, okay? So when you freeze something, it becomes a solid. It goes from a liquid to a solid. So liquid to solid and solid. And freeze means you lower the temperature of something. And so that liquid becomes a solid. Okay, when we say it's freezing outside, that means the temperature is so low that liquid water will turn into ice. It's freezing outside. This is what happens in the winter. Okay. We talked about a little bit about a container. We talked about liquid will take the shape of its container. A container, of course, is something that you can put things in. Now, sure, you could put solids into this container. If we had those marbles we saw at the beginning, you know, the spheres, the marbles, if we put the marbles in this container, the marbles will still be spheres. They won't take the shape of the container. But if we pour water into the container, then the water will take the shape of that container. And the container is just something that we can keep things in. You can keep solids, you can keep liquids, and you can keep gas in a container too. When scuba divers go underwater, they keep their air in a container. It's a scuba tank on their back, right? So these are different types of containers. Melt. Now here's another one. We talked about freeze before, right? Now the opposite of freeze is to melt. If you have ice and you raise the temperature, what happens to the ice? The ice changes from a solid to a liquid. So now we are going from a solid to a liquid. Whoops, liquid, yeah, it's a Q. So, oh, I have to work on my handwriting. Solid goes into a liquid because we're melting it. We're increasing the temperature of the solid so that it becomes a liquid. This looks like an ice cream bar. Melt means to change from a solid to a liquid. An ice cream bar has to be cold. If you leave the ice cream bar out on a hot sunny day, you're raising the temperature, it turns into a liquid. Changes from a solid to a liquid. And that's what's going on there. So freeze and melt are opposites, okay? Boil. Now here, boil is another word that's similar to freeze and to melt. Boil, when we're talking about boil, we are going from a liquid, now we are going from liquid to a gas. So again, we're talking about heat. If we increase the temperature of something, if we give it heat, that substance, this liquid, will eventually boil. Boil means to make a liquid hot, so hot that gas forms in the liquid. That liquid, the parts of the liquid become so far apart that they start to form a gas and the gas will come off the top of the liquid. The liquid will change into a gas. And if you keep that heat on, all of the liquid will go away. It will all be changed into a gas and you won't have any more liquid. It'll all go away magically. It's not magic, but it seems like magic because it will all disappear from the container. So that is changing a liquid to a gas. So we have freeze, we have melt, and we have boil. Okay. Now we've talked about this before, flow. 
And basically, flow means for a liquid to move smoothly. And I already talked about this, right? If you have a container full of water and you tip that container over, what happens is the liquid inside the container will flow smoothly and evenly into another container. Or if there's no container here, it'll flow out all over the table or the floor, whatever you're pouring the liquid onto. Lesson 14 Solid, Liquid, Gas. Solid A solid is a form of matter with its own shape. Liquid A liquid is matter that flows and takes the shape of its container. Gas a gas is matter that changes shape to fill its container. Vapor Vapor is water in the air that you can sometimes see. Freeze Freeze means to change from a liquid to a solid. Container A container is something that you can put things in. Melt. Melt means to change from a solid to a liquid. Boil. Boil means to make a liquid hot. Flow. Flow means for a liquid to move smoothly.